welcome back to another video so today i'm going to show you everything i've got in my nail art collection and basically just everything that's in my drawers of my desk um i have obviously done like full tours and stuff like that but i totally understand that not everyone wants to see like the whole room and it is just nice sometimes to see what's inside the fun places so here i just have tools and stuff like that they're all just thrown in there at the moment because obviously i'm not working then over here we've got files and buffers that i use on either myself or um like practice tips and stuff to prep them i don't use those on clients because everyone every client has got their own so over here we've got my magpie gel paints that is the whole collection i absolutely love these gel paints but i do want to invest in more brill bird paints um just because obviously they've got the brush and go ones and there's lots of different colors so i want to get colors that i haven't already got in magpie over here I've just got some tools that i use quite often and some palettes i don't know why i've got so many palettes i've just got a bit of a thing again about buying them um this one i got from wild on interiors the one that's at the bottom it's a bit stained which is a shame but i still use it this one I think was just from Amazon and then we've got this and this and that one there. They were all from a lady on Instagram who was doing them during the last lockdown and then I've got this one which was in a, um, what's it called? I'm pretty sure that was in a Christmas advent calendar. I can't remember whether it was Sparkles or Smiley's glitter store i'm not 100 but i've got both those videos on my channel anyway if you want to know and then here i've got my foils so we've got all of my magpie foils here like that's just two layers of foils like there's foils underneath foils <laughs> love that noise <laughs> so strange but anyways that's foils so they're the magpie swatches of the foils as well and then here i've got this folder which is in one of my amazon hauls it's just a card like game holder um it just fits them in perfectly in their bags and majority of foils from different companies come in bags anyway these actually didn't the ones that are in here which was really annoying so i actually bought the bags and then put them all in you can all imagine how much of a fun task that was let me just zoom out a little bit and put the light on there we go so um yeah these are all the foils i don't really have a hell of a lot of foils to be fair um i don't use them that often which is really sad because i actually love foils so i need to start getting more clients to have them maybe i need to do more like nail art ideas with them so everyone knows how to use them so here is my chromes dusts and shapes drawer so under here first of all i've got all these chromes these came in an amazon haul um the most recent amazon haul these were in i also put the swatches in there as well i've got chromes in here from sparkle supplies uk this one came in the oh my god what was it the january vip box which is absolutely beautiful i can't wait to swatch it i keep forgetting to do them and then underneath those chromes i've got all of the tears beauty shards these ones those oh god those types of names are like two tones so it's like light and dark blue and then there's different what's it? it's like there's different types as well i think that's mylar yeah i've got some mylar in here as well and then some plain colored shards as well so this these ones are the lime ones they look really gold on camera but they are more of a lime and then my one of my favorite things from tears beauty is these beautiful holographic um i might use this as my thumbnail <laughs> it's these beautiful holographic uh dusts they're absolutely stunning they come in these really adorable little pots and i think there's yeah there's 12 of them so they're all along here and then we've got chromes let's put those under there We've got chromes, dust, um, flakes here and dust from Magpie. They're all in the middle. Over here, we've got flakes that are all here from uh, Tears. They come in the same packaging as the shapes and everything, which I really, really like. And then I've also got some shapes. There's a lot of stars and love hearts, stuff like that. So they're the black stars from Tears, holographic, so they're beautiful some more stars and then there's also some dots never know when you're gonna need a dot <laughs> and then we've also got some leaves which are absolutely stunning you can get different colors of these on the tears beauty website and then these which i really want to do a set with actually i might do that during lockdown on my own nails because i love these pastel circles 
so once wait hold on a second I was say once we finish this drawer but not yet so we've got um pigments as well i've got all of the tears no not tears all of the magpie pigments and then any colors i didn't have in magpie i've got in tears here and then annoyingly i bought the magpie ones before i bought tears beauty pigments but they're actually like the exact same and they're a lot less money from tears so i would have got hers but i'd already bought these by the time i found tears and became an ambassador so here i've got triangles there's love hearts, stars again, like just different shapes and stuff. And then over here, we've got some chrome pens. And then here, these are all just different shapes. You will have seen most of these anyway, if you've watched any of my hauls, because obviously everything that I get in a haul ends up in my drawers and then it leads to these videos. <laughs> so majority of the time you've already seen everything, but I like looking how people store stuff as well. So I just thought it'd be nice to do like a storage slash collection video. So that's that drawer. That's my very sparkly drawer. Next up, we've got glitter. I'm actually going to get on the floor now because, oh my God, you're not going to be able to hear me else. So down here, we've got right at the back in here, we've got these removal wraps because I put those in my removal kits for my clients when we're in a lockdown. Back here, I've got loads and loads of swatch sticks, absolutely rammed full there. Then here, we've got the iridescent tapes from Magpie, which I don't really use, to be honest. In here, these are all my Sparkle Supplies UK glitters. Um, you'll be having a huge haul of new ones of these coming really soon. Um, just not quite yet. So I've got lots and lots in there and lots of different ones. They're absolutely stunning. So basically I get like, obviously you'll see like further my glitter collection throughout this video, but I get like glitter mixes from Sparkles. Because the other two places that I get my glitter from mainly don't really do mixes. They just do like one colour glitter sort of thing. Which obviously you can create your own mixes with. Which is brilliant. But sometimes it's nice to just buy them like how they come. So next down here we've got Smiley's Glitter Store Glitters. So these uh, half of them are the collection that came out for Christmas. I think it was called the 12 Days of Christmas collection. I've actually swatched um, a lot of those ones. I need to swatch all of my Sparkles UK, uh, Sparkle Supplies UK ones as well. But I'm going to wait until I've got like the next lot that I'm going to buy because it's going to be quite a big haul. And I'm gonna, just going to do them all and just do a really big video of swatching glitter. It's not something that I would have thought of putting together, to be honest, but a lot of people have said that they'd like to see it, so I'm just going to do it anyway. If you watch it, you watch it. If you don't, you don't. It's fine with me. I'm going to do it anyway. And then, obviously, so they're the Smiley's Glitter Store ones. These ones are from Divine Nails and Beauty. I've mentioned them quite a lot on my channel. Um, that's where I get my blue sky polishes from. And then down here, we've got all my Tears Glitters, which are beautiful, and obviously the packaging matches everything else that they sell they're absolutely stunning you can get them in fine mix or chunky which is fab and then down here is just a load of random stuff my papers are in here that i do um like have as backgrounds for videos and stuff so i can pick out of those which ones i want to use for each video then we've got my spare parts that i get from amazon um which is what i've put the smiley's glitters in and then i've got obviously pouches and just stuff that i've bought that i don't really use Okay, so those drawers were to the left of my desk. These ones are the right drawers. So in here, I've got real mixture. So here we've got inkies. There's all the magpie inkies in there. Don't really reach for these a lot, to be honest. Um, during the first lockdown, I got a bit obsessed with them. I did inkies on absolutely everybody and everything I could touch, but just kind of got out of that habit. Um, so I haven't really picked those up for a while, so I need to do something more with those as well. I've then got these crystals and stuff here don't really use these a lot but they're just there you know in case you ever want them i do need to transfer them into the pots that i use because i don't really like having these like re wheels i don't know why but i just have something against them so whenever something comes in a wheel which these did i put them into these pots because they're quite large like you can see exactly what you need to get anyway so it's not like they're hidden away and you're really stuck with them so yeah this drawer is mainly crystals um couple of bits and bobs as well so i've got these in here there they are snowflakes that i bought from amazon over christmas and then i've got more snowflakes from amazon <laughs> and then we've got these from magpie and also these from magpie never even used those so I definitely need to give those a go as well i've just seen all this stuff now that i haven't even seen for so long 
because if it's not something that I reach for like really regularly I, told, I, I sort of forget that I've got it does anyone else do that sorry I'm just having a little clean up while I'm here so over here we've got leaf so these two are from I've got a gold and a silver from sparkle supplies I think these were in some sort of box as well so I've got those I'll also be doing a haul video including the February Valentine's box as well um, and obviously I'll do the February VIP box when it comes out but I've also got these two which are absolutely stunning. This one is copper foil and this one in my, in my hand that I can't pick up properly is petrol foil. I'm not sure if you can see that effect but they're both absolutely beautiful. I was gutted to be closed in November because I really wanted to use this coppery one <laughs> before everyone, everyone wanted Christmas nails like in the autumn, but never mind. It'll keep till next year. So they're from Tia's Beauty. So as always, I will link any discount codes I've got in the description box. So before you purchase anything from anywhere that I mentioned, just double check that to make sure there isn't something there for you. So here I've got this one is usually at the back like i swap these two over like depending on what what's happening like when i'm in a lockdown i have this one at the front because i need to get to these quickly because this is what i use for videos and then when i'm not in a lockdown and i'm doing clients i have this one at the front because it's got more things in that i'll use so i've got jewel boxes like in the middle this one is from sparkle supplies uk and then i've got all of magpies crystal no i haven't i lied i've got all but one of magpies crystals i've got all those colors they do some really beautiful shades in their crystals they're lovely and then i've got some like this like just random ones that i'm probably never going to use because they're huge and my clients don't really tend to go for things like that but you never know and then some like pearly ones i'm not going to go through all of them obviously because who wants to see that <laughs> And these beautiful like i don't really know how to explain them but they're stunning and then i've got all my sparkle supplies crystals if you want to see all the ones that i've got from sparkle supplies then please head over to that video i've got a sparkle supplies collection um so please have a look at that and you'll see all of these in there because every single color that they sell is just beautiful especially these these little ab crystals are absolutely stunning like they're really really tiny but they're gorgeous so anyway they do lots and lots of different colors i've got quite a few of them now i do want to finish the collection and get everything that i don't have but it'll take a little while to build up obviously especially if it's not working at the moment and then we've got dried flowers and just weird flowers in here these are almost like paper which is really bizarre um i definitely need to use them and see how they look in a nail because they just look a bit random but yeah so they're like paper but they're really pretty and i've got those in different colors they came in some sort of set from amazon actual dried flowers and then magpies dried flowers as well i've got all those colors here um so let's just get that one out of the back that you can't actually see so this has got and these ones down here as well like the ones just fell over down there they also have um what are they called what are they called dried flowers in and then if you can see right the back down there that is leaf as well that amazon book with all the leaf in i'm sure you've seen it before because it is everywhere and then these are also from sparkle supplies uk as you can see by the beautiful sticker and then one of my lovely clients actually bought me um loads of crystals for christmas which was really really cute so she got me some silver ones some crystal ab ones and then some shaped ones as well which is fab because i don't have many shaped ones and then in here there's just plenty more where that came from some black ones and then some like 3d flower type ones and then all my striping tapes are there i try and avoid striping tape and yeah that's it really i just try and avoid it i absolutely hate the stuff but if anyone does want it then obviously i know that i've got it so that's that drawer that was the long-winded one we've then got this one which is much easier to explain thank goodness <laughs> these are my brill bird glamour gels they are all glamour gels and there is all 15 of them here i bought a few i think i bought like five to start with in the black friday sale and then when they came and i saw them all i was like right that's it i need i literally need all of these like they're absolutely stunning so i couldn't help myself i had to buy them which is one of those things <laughs> so i've got the whole collection now Okay, so here I have all of my, that is not shut properly, it's going to really annoy me, uh, all of my Sharpie, well not Sharpies, but permanent markers um, for marbling, if I ever want to do it with a permanent marker instead. 
and then down here i've got some gel polishes these are from aliexpress and they are in my most recent aliexpress haul so please check that out if you want to see them this is what they look like swatched i've lost one of the swatches somehow god knows how i've done that but they are absolutely beautiful look how shiny they are They're absolutely incredible but yeah check out that aliexpress haul part one for that if when you watch this that there's two parts to an aliexpress haul it's definitely part one so just bear that in mind and then here I have these name card holders from, well, business card holders, whatever you want to call them, from Amazon. And they hold some of my decal collection. So some of my um, decals are in here because they're smaller. And then the bigger ones you'll see in a second. So some of these, like, they're all from different places. But some of them are, uh, what's it? What's the name? Enchanted decals. Kelly, they're absolutely brilliant. And then some of them are, like, amazon and just random places and stuff like that aliexpress so that is one that's got all my christmas ones in so i like to keep those separate so i don't have to search through everything to find them at christmas time it's really really difficult one handed and then these ones are mainly enchanted decals up to like these butterflies here are not so all of those and all those pages before are all enchanted decals as well and then there's loads and loads of butterflies because butterflies were really in a few months ago. And then, yeah, just random places. I think there's a few from Ginger and Balin here as well. So different places, got them all over the place. And then, like I said earlier, with the bigger decals, I keep them in this book. I also didn't explain, what is this? Oh, they were all also in my part one AliExpress haul. Didn't explain these either. These are from uh decals nail decals by design they're absolutely beautiful she sent me them for free bless us just literally so kind um so these ones are actually pre-cut i'm not sure whether you can see it. i don't want to open one but there's a bow there they're like green colored bows and they're pre-cut out so you don't have to cut them and if you want to cut them like closer to the image it takes a lot less time and you don't really have to like ruin your like your sheets because you've just got them in a little pot she sent me two pots of those uh, these are rose gold baubles, so obviously I won't use them at the moment, but they'll come in really, really handy next Christmas. So she sent me quite a lot, bless her heart. <laughs> um, so I've got all these. So these are the New Year ones. Um, they are absolutely stunning. Look at those. But I have looked at the website and they are so reasonably priced. So she sent me all these Christmas ones as well in the month of December. So, so grateful for them. I did use quite a few so i've kept them out because i really like the background of them like the gold so i've just kept them loose and then in here i've got enchanted decals like the bigger ones that wouldn't fit in those and then i've also got all my magpie stickers as well so they're all also in here i know you can't really see them very well but you know i'm struggling with one hand and then I've also got lots of stickers from Amazon and Ginger and Belle, I think they were from, and these ones. So yeah, just all sorts of stickers and decals in here, and then all the flexi tapes and stuff are right at the back in all the different colours. So that's that drawer. Third one down, we've got brushes. So they're all like applicator type of brushes, like there's a duster brush, there's a like another dust type of brush and then this these are the crystal applicator crystal like picker brush things i don't know what to call them the applicator brush and then my chubby glitter brushes from tia's beauty absolutely love those i've got about three of those because they're just brilliant for applying glitters and dusts and then the second one down here is acrylic and gel brushes um some of them are like cheap ones and some of them like there's a magpie one there that's glitter bowls this is a Magpie Perfect Poly Brush for their poly gel. That's just a cheapo poly gel brush. And then we've got like some gel brushes in Ink London from when I used to do more hard gel. And then here we've got detailer brushes that are fine. So short, medium and long, but just fine, um, like tipped ones and dotting tools. And then this one is basically every other brush there is. And then in here I've got masks and then in here we've got applicators. So I don't usually have those on that side, but I've just been lazy when they were delivered. So this side I usually keep two lipstick applicators for stamping, like getting off all the excess from the skin around the nail. And then this is obviously applicators for chrome. I'm just going to shove those back in. And 
then next drawer down is my stamping drawer, which I'm going to have to get down to because it's so uncomfortable now leaning over. Oh. Okay, so mind the mess surrounding everything, by the way, if you've noticed how untidy my room is. Obviously, I've been closed now for a couple of weeks and I'm going to be closed for many, many more. So, you know, plenty of time to clean. So all these are full of stamping plates. Um, we've got medium ones in here, small ones in there, and then there's four large ones. This one is slightly different because I've got all my Christmas plates in. I wanted to be able to tell the difference, so I only have a look at these ones when it's not Christmas. There is a small stamping plate holder under here because I wanted room to grow with my small stamping plate collection. So I got this from AliExpress. All the links to everything that I mentioned that is from AliExpress is in my um, AliExpress like haul video in the description box. Down here I've got my clear jelly stamper polishes. So the darkest colour is always lying down and then there's a lighter colour and then a glitter behind it so I know where everything is. Black and white from Moira, black and white from Clear Jelly Stamper, and then the Moira Foil Gel Stamping Polish, which is brilliant. And then all my stampers and scrapers in here, and then just some other polishes that work well with stamping in there. And down here is not really, uh, what's it related, like nail art related, so I wasn't really going to show you this one, but this is all my tips. So it goes back really far, there's way too many in there. I don't know why I have this many, like it's just ridiculous i've got a bit of a thing for buying tips like it's really weird um so yeah there's lots lots and lots of tips in there for no reason whatsoever because i only ever use the same ones anyway okay now we're on to wall space so i'm really sorry about how long this video is by the way i really didn't want it to be this long so now i've got all my magpie gel polishes i do have them all at the moment i'm hoping for new releases soon because you can never have too many gel polishes. I absolutely love having a big collection of gels. <laughs> so that's all my gel polishes. I've got lots of nail art along one of the shelves that I did during lockdown number one. Then over here, we've got all of my magpie glitters. There is four rows on here. Um, there is one piece of trunk in that you can see around here, just there. Um, and there's two rows on each. I don't really like it that way. That's a better way for you to see it. I don't really like it this way, but these glitters just, I can't seem to store them how I'm like happy with them. I don't want them in like just row of like one or two because then there's just they take up so much space because there's so many because obviously they go all the way down there like there's a lot so and there's obviously four things so on here there's literally about 140 because each row there is like 35 in it so they all add up to a lot and they take up a lot of space if I don't store them like this it's fine like this obviously I can still see them um because like there is a gap between them all so you can still when I put them back where they're meant to be that is you can still see the ones behind but it just doesn't look very pleasing like on the eye okay so you'll be pleased to know that I've got to be really quick with this bit because my phone is running out of battery and my charger is on the other side of the room so I need to be real quick so we're coming to an end so these are all of my tears beauty um like these are all premix glitters and these are all colored acrylics and then I've got all of my magpie colored acrylics but I am selling all of those um because I don't really use them very often and I want to increase my collection of tears beauty because I just like having everything matching so it's really stressing me out that they don't look the same and then on the bottom we've got all of my blue sky gel polishes which are sort of in some sort of order um but yeah, it's not a great order, but they are somehow stored. And then I need to find something to put in those two things. But for now, I am just keeping my planner on top of that. Um, so yeah, that sort of just covers the gap sort of thing. Okay, and then I do have my trolley as well, which is full of essentials, but none of it is really nail art related. So I won't include that because... Um, yeah it's not really art related so i'm just going to leave it there i think because this video is already ridiculously long i really hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you did or not or give me a quick thumbs up if you did and you not really want to comment if you don't already then please do subscribe um and click the notifications bell i went a bit blank with what i was asking you to do but yeah if you could do that that would be fantastic thank you so so much for watching and i'll be back really really soon bye